Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Today we're doing a tutorial on Red Giant Particular. I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about particle effects. I'm going to give you a little bit of particle 101 so you know how to use these effects with your videos in Pinnacle Studio 16 and in Avid Studio. Let's get into it. First, it's time for a little bit of teaching, a lesson from your boy Malik on particles. So in order to do this, I need to go ahead and take a title and put it down into the timeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this track here. And you can see, you can tell this is one that you selected when you click on it because it's lighter than the other tracks. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create title. Now when this pops up, it has some text in it. I don't need any freaking text. So I'm hitting the backspace button. So I can get rid of this unnecessary crap. Now I'm just going to click on OK. And now I have a blank canvas on which to do my magic. I'm going to right click on this. And I'm going to go to adjust duration. I'm going to change it to 4 seconds. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to right click on this clip. And I'm going to go to... Open Effects Editor. So we can edit a freaking effect. Now I'm going to go to Add-ons. And I'm going to go to Red Giant Motion Graphics Toolkit. And within this lovely Motion Graphics Toolkit, we have Particular. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, the first thing you see is some particles come onto the screen. So I'm going to explain a little bit about particles here so you have an understanding because there's a lot of controls here if I go ahead and click on some of these and open them up you can see there are a bunch of different controls it gives you a bunch of control over what the particles actually do so I'm going to leave it on no preset for now and first I'm going to go to emitter now the first one is particles per second so this actually tells you how many particles are going to be on the screen per second? You see, if I pull this up, these bad boys start blowing up the screen. It's like some kind of big freaking styrofoam ball or snowball or something. I don't like that. But anyway, that's what that does. It tells you how many particles come on the screen in a second. Then you have the emitter shape. The emitter is actually right here in the middle of the screen. And you can't see it. It's invisible. But there is an emitter there that emits the particles from it. And you can choose how you want the particles to emit, what the shape of the emitter is. And that will actually make the particles come out of it different ways. I'm going to leave mine on point. Then you have position X, Y, X. So the X position, you can move it over to the right or to the left. And this actually controls where your particles are on the screen. And then you have the same thing for X, Y, Y. So you can move it down or up. And you can move these to where you need to. So it gives you some flexibility of where your particles are going to emit from. Then you have direction. It could be a uniform, a directional, bidirectional, disc, outwards. Different directions for the particles to go from. You have velocity. So this is the speed, how fast the particles go across the screen. So you see if I speed it up, the particles become there's less on the screen. But that's just because they flew off the screen faster. And then we have velocity random, so you can make the uh, particles go at different velocities. Each particle will have its own random speed that it goes at. And then you have the emitter size, so you can make the size of the emitter in the middle bigger or smaller uh, on the X or the Y, so it'll be wider or higher up and down. And, of course, you can't see the emitter, but believe me, when you do an effect, it changes based on the size of the emitter. Then you got the particle controls. So life seconds, this is the life of the particle. They actually live. They have hearts and souls. Particles 
are people. So if you change the life, it actually changes how long it's going to be on the screen. So now you can see there's more of them on there because I made the life longer. And basically, particles live and die, so they come on the screen and they fade away. So this controls how long they're going to stay on the screen before they fade off the screen. Then you have life random, so it makes a different each particle uh, have a random life. Particle type, you got spheres with a different looks on them. You got glow spheres, so they're glowing. You got cloudlet, it's like little clouds. So you got different types of particles. Then you got the particle feather. And, you know, the feather of the particle basically goes ahead. And what that does is it controls the softness of the sphere. If it's a sphere, uh, the cloudlet and the smokelet particle types are the only ones that are really, you know, uh, changed by this and then you got the size of the particle so I can make them bigger I can make them smaller so you got that then you also got the opacity so right now it's at 100 but I could make them more opaque and more see-through so you can see the things behind it and then the opacity uh, randomness the color I can change the color of it by either clicking on here and choosing the color or I can use the uh, eyedrop tool to choose the color of something I have on the screen and the random color. Then we got our physics for gravity. Let's go ahead and bring the gravity down and now the gravity is really strong. Bring it this way and the gravity is not as strong and the things go up. So that's the gravity. Then you have a simulation speed. What the simulation speed does for you is it actually just uh, simulates the simulation of the uh, particles actually coming on and then you have air resistance so the air resistance actually let me go ahead and make some you know more resistant to air and instead of flying all over the place they stay in a you know little bunched up thing depending on how you do them and then finally we have controls and this is the transfer mode so the transfer mode actually uh, controls how particles are composited together. And you got normal, so that's a normal operation. You got things like add, which uh, means the particles get added together. Uh, you got screen, which means that the particles are screened together. So then you got lighten, which means like the, the lighter color on the screen wins. It, it makes it um, the lighter color show out more. And, you know, you got all these other ones on here. I'm not going to go over every single one of them. But that's that. It's basically, uh, you know, the particle 101 to teach you about what each one of those different types of settings will do for your particles. Now, I'm going to leave this like it is, and I'm going to click OK because I'm going to come back to this. What I'm going to show you real quick is how to do one of the effects that I did. Uh, I'm going to show you the one with the text. Now, you can make your own text however you want. And once you make the text, you can leave it on one track and then do another clear track with nothing on it above it to make the effect that I'm about to do. But I'm going to use a picture of my logo instead of typing in the logo. If you got a picture of your logo, you can do the same thing with your own. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to adjust duration. I'm going to make it four seconds as well so it matches the title because you remember I made the title four seconds long. First thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to go and add a fade on this or a wipe so that it wipes onto the screen. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to click on this little arrow. And I want to go down to transitions and I'm going to go to 2D transitions. And under 2D transitions, there's a transition called wipe right. So if I try to put this on here, it won't go on at first because it's only four seconds. It's not long enough. So I'm going to make it longer. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag it down at the beginning the clip and it's already a four second fade so I'm going to drag this back and now I have a good little fade there and as you can see 
it fades onto the screen to the right or wipes onto the screen to the right. So we're good to go with that. Next thing I need to do is I need to place the type of particle effect I want over my title so that when it goes across the screen, the title will show up the same time as it goes across the screen. So I'm going to right click on this blank title that has the particles in it. I'm going to go to open effects editor. Since I already have the particles set up, I don't need to go in here and choose it. I'm going to choose the preset. Now you can choose plenty of different presets on here, depending on if you want SD or HD, because there's a lot of different wipes that are already on here that you can use. You got a star flight. You got swarm fireflies. You got white bubbles. You got white gravity rainbow. Uh, and even if you want to, you don't even have to use those. You can use a, uh, Blue sparks, you can make it grow across the screen with the keyframes. And you can use all types of different ones on here. You can use basically any one of these that you want, as long as it suits your needs. I'm going to use the one that I used in a demo, and I'm going to use Wipe Gravity Rainbow. Now, when I place this onto the effect, the next thing I need to do is I need to be able to see my title. So I need to go down here and on solo mode. I'm going to change that by clicking on this arrow and going to show media and tracks below. Now you can't see my words yet because remember I had the fade that I put on them. But as I go across and move the playhead, you see there is the beginning of my words. Now they're not coming on in place because this wipe has its own speed. I need to change how the wipe is going to be on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to position one, keyframe one. And I already know because I already did this. You're going to have to do a little bit of uh, work to figure out where you want your um, particle effect to start at. But I already know where I want mine to start at. So I'm going to go to keyframe one. And on the emitter, I'm going to go to XY. I'm going to left click on it. Might have to click it twice. And I'm going to change it to 10. Because I know that's where I want mine to be. As far as the position X, Y, it's right in the middle of the screen, just like my logo, so I don't have to worry about that one. All right? Now, this keyframe here, I don't need. So I'm going to click on this keyframe. And I'm going to click on Delete Keyframe. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Why should I have something I don't need? If I kept that on there, it would go across the screen too fast. It's not what I want. So now that that keyframe's gone, I'm going to go to the last keyframe by clicking on the jump to next keyframe. And on this one, I'm going to change my X, Y, X position to 90. Because I know that's where the end of my words are basically at. So... This is set up how I want it now. There's just a few more things that I want to do to this. But as far as the particle effect, I'm good. So I'm going to click OK. Oh, matter of fact, there's one more thing that I, I could change. You don't have to, but I think I am. I'm going to go back to the first keyframe. And I'm going to go down to particle. And I'm going to change the color of this bad boy. Matter of fact, let's go to the last keyframe. I'm going to click on the eyedrop tool. And I'm going to click on the words here. And now I have the color I want. I go back to the first keyframe. You see the color is different. But as it goes across, it's going to change to the color that matches kind of like the title. It's going to look kind of cool because it's going to start off as one color. And as it goes across... It's going to start changing to a different color as it gets to the end. And so you can barely see how the color is changing as it goes across. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you wanted to make sure it matched from the beginning to the end, then all you really need to do is here I can just click OK. Can remove this. Right click on this transition and remove it. And then if I right click back on this clip, and go to open effects editor.
And now if I click show media and tracks below, you'll see the logo on the screen because now there's not a fade. If I go to particle again, you can click on the eyedrop tool, click on the words, and now the color changes to that color. At the beginning and the end, it'll be the same color now. I just click OK. I'm good there. I'm going to drag this back out so I can get my wipe right back in at the beginning. I'm going to drag this back so it's still four seconds. And then what I'm going to do here is right now, it's just going to appear on the screen, this particle. And when it just appears on the screen like that, it doesn't look too realistic. It's just popping on the screen and then going across. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little fade at the beginning and at the end so that it fades on and off of the screen. So I just put my cursor up there where you got the fade look. Let me go ahead and remove this so you guys know what I did. I just put my cursor up here to where I got a little triangle and that means I can now create a fade. So I created the fade on both sides and I want the fades to be the same. So I'm going to right click on the fade, go to transition, edit, and you just make it however long you want it to be. Do the same thing with the last one so that the fades are the same uh, duration. Click OK. And then when you play it back, you have such a beautiful freaking effect. Now, I do want to let you know that there is a great place to get uh, a lot of other tutorials on these particle effects. Uh, like the fireworks one I did. The fireworks one I did was actually um, done based on the uh, tutorial done at uh, Declic Video Effects. And if you look in the description of this video, you will find the link to get you to that tutorial on Declic Video Effects. If you have not been to that site, it's a great site with a lot of great information on uh, Pinnacle Studio and Avid Studio. If you ever have any questions and things like that, that's the place that you should turn to first to find uh, answers, especially if you're having technical issues and things like that. All right. That's it. The Red Giant Particular Tutorial. Now, you guys know the routine. There's a thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction underneath this video. Yeah, you see it. It's right there on the left. Click it. Like it. Live it. Love it. Hug it. Comments. Leave me your comments. Comment on this effect. Got any questions? Get at me. If I can help you out, I'll get back with you as soon as I can. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction and make sure that you get the help you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.